Right, sound of children in the background. Saying goodbye to St Lawrence. It's just a brief visit. In the distance now, through that gap of the barrows, which I will be cl very close to in about an hour. Good hour, yeah. We're at the halfway stage, so that's taken us oh, just over two hours. So we've got five hours. There is a stile there, but I think we go through the gate now. I think we do. Otherwise you end up in somebody's garden. That's the old stile, see? That's the old stile. See, there's the barrows over there. Churches in that little copse area there. And then we come down onto Barrow Lane. A little cottage for sale, look, have you got the dosh? <coughs> About to put the charger on now. I've done quite a few videos and lots of photos because who knows and I'll come out here again if there's no bus I said I think it's still too far to come if I got even if I got to Winscombe it's just too far because it's the other side of Cheddar see eh? that's what you've got to think it's the other side there's no way you could do it Sheila no. I reckon if I'd even I got a vehicle I'd come over and park up pretty just for old time's sake. It would be on my, it would be one of mine I would visit with a vehicle. I haven't actually been down here for a long time. Because what I normally do, even when I had Alberta, I used to cut across the fields. I remember the very first time I'd done this. It was all new. I didn't really know where I was going or how I was going to get there. It was all trial and error and it was it was very wet weather. And the drove at the top was really boggy, I remember having to tiptoe. Yeah. I I'd seen it on the map, I planned the route, I remember seeing how many fields I'd had to go across. I was following the West Mendip Way. And really, since I've done, that was quite a few, 10 years ago, wasn't it? Since then, I have just explored so much. But of course, I still see little bridleways thinking, oh, I wonder where that goes. And I have been able to explore some of them. Now, just down here, there's some double gates and or a single gate, I'm not sure. There were some horses here that I spoke to. I spoke to a couple horse riders as well going along here. I am recording a bit of it because it's um it will be down. I it's not everything I've done in the past has been put on YouTube yet, by the way. But the cameras were much more inferior then and I know it's me my skills holding this one steady but back then the, the cameras were really really um dodgy is there somebody in front of me there's a walker in front of me wow that's unusual it's either a woman or a bloke with a kilt on so I'm not alone someone ahead and they're walking quite briskly so I'm not going to catch them up <sighs> there's a pond there believe it or not under there 
the village pond, you could say it was. Yeah, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to eat a banana. I've drunk my blackcurrant juice for the, for the glucose. I drank that for the glucose. Right, carry right, over now. the long barrow lane. The place where the horses used to be is all overgrown with nettles. It's still a shelter for now though. Saw a local postman in his van having a rest. <coughs> Got to go up a bit of hill now. There'll be a steady climb now, so I will be a bit wheezy. <coughs> Until I get to the burrows. The steady little tiny climb and especially going up to the barrows will be the only hill. The big hills have been done already. Um, but here's this barrow lane. Left the little village of Pretty now. Has a lovely wander through part of it. Part of it I don't usually walk through. Uh, the other side of the village I normally come through where the village green is. I'm just doing snippets which I will join together. What people got to remember is they're not seeing the whole walk. You only see snippets. The minutes and hours and half hours and there's a lot of that you don't see. Otherwise you'd be watching me for eight hours. <laughs> It's probably going on that anyway, <laughs> by the time I put all the photos on. Anyway, I'm going to turn off again in a minute after I can. Just going up a little bit more. It isn't far now and then we'll be near a drove. We're not going down the drove though. I'm making a determined effort to do the burrows. You see, last time I came over the idea was to do the burrows. But I never made it. I don't know if I, well I'm going to do it today. You know, I'm just going to do it. If time got really short I'd have to head to um, Westbury Sub Mendip and I'd have to risk cows if time got really short. So there we are, the quiet country lane folks. Beautiful and peaceful as I remember it, just like I remember it. I haven't done it that many times this one, but maybe two or three times before now. Maybe, definitely twice. Right, right over now. Got here. This is cow land. The cows are up there at the moment, but they've been here not long ago. And they might come back. They're right on top of the hill. Whether they're wandering away, I don't know. Um, I've got to sneak past them somehow. So what I've got to do is really be ready to get into that field. And there might be a way, there might be a gate there. There might be a way through. Because <sighs> The herd that were up here once before, when I came up here, they were really frisky. There's some barrows over there. You've got eight barrows and nine barrows. I think the eight are there, and the nine are further over there. What I'm going to do, I'm going to make my way towards that way. So I'm going over by... So I don't want to walk right into them. I'm going over there and see a gate. Now they do sometimes have cows even in that field. It, it could be that I'm going to be jumping around a lot. But they're definitely a herd up there. So let's head over here. I might have to jump from one field to another all the time, see? <coughs> well, 
I don't want to be out in the open. Do you see what I mean? I don't want to be stuck out in the open with a herd. <clears throat> now, hopefully, they are in this field, and I'm going to get in that one. Over and out for a minute, folks. It's all very exciting. Right, at the moment, my Kodak has decided not to work for a minute. It's just got to cool down. Right at an important bit when we're at the Bavaros. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That could be the eight or the nine barrows. I never quite remember if that's the nine one. Um, I've just got to check that this is actually doing the video. Um, this is trouble with these inferior cameras. Right. Yeah, it looks like it's working. My camera's down there resting, look. Now there's a big herd of cows there. Look a minute ago as if they were moving away. But they spotted me up here and they've all seemed to be coming, looking over here and moving this way instead. Some of them are actually sitting down. So that's why I'm not going up that way. Because that lot, if it's the same herd, they followed me and they were mooing and everything. I can't take pictures with this camera so I'm having to video the, the barrows. I'm not quite sure if it would zoom in. And I can't see a thing by the way. I can't see anything with these cameras. You just have to zoom in and hope for the best. So I've got no idea what that's showing. But this is the only chance I've got to do the barrows and the Kodak's packed up. It's so annoying. It might, by the time we get up on the hill there it might have cooled down. But I'm not getting in that field with those cows because they look closer than they were a minute ago. And I don't, I'm not quite sure where the gate is up there. But that one sat down as well. Now I'm going to play it safe. There are sometimes cows in this field, by the way, as well. But I can see the first barrow there. Right, over and out for a minute with small video. Right, folks. I'm very disappointed my cameras aren't working. Um, I got the camera to work. Then I fiddled with the zoom and it wouldn't work. I messed it up. I had it taken a few photos, it was all right. I had to try the flipping zoom, didn't I? And it, it's played up now. But it will do zoom on the video. This is the closest we can get, folks. I don't know if the Kodak's gonna come round in a minute. I've left it in my bag. I'm just leaving it for a little while. I can see the tops of the heads of the cows. They're just through there, the cows are. I can just see their ears sticking up. They say, we know you're here, Sheila. We know you're here. Well, at least I can't see any in here, but they do come in here. They've all sat down for some reason. There's not any obvious sign of rain. Now, right over there are the mendiparials, the masts. Right over there somewhere. I can't see with this camera, but over there somewhere's the masts. Okay, I can't actually see myself. I won't see until I get home and put it on the big screen. I'm very disappointed in Kodak. I just put it in my bag for five minutes. I'm going to get it out again when I get on one of the mounds. I don't know then whether I'll be able to see those from there. Could be that they'll disappear. Because here's the start of some mounds here. Here's the start of some mounds. I 
I don't think they can get in here. No, they can't. Oh, it's a lovely view though, isn't it? Look at the landscape. The church will be down there somewhere. Down there, I think. Down there somewhere, the church. Church of St. Lawrence. Right, on this mound... No, I'll tell you what, I'll wait till we get up to that gate. Oh, my toes are... Just starting to hurt me toe now. Me bunion toe. I'll turn off a minute. 